Hello, I am Aaron Lampe, ingratious persona non gratis. This is Instagram and the postmodern now. The point of these videos is that they're going to be hopefully short and about things which annoy me that have socio-systemic implications. I'm not going to be able to do a lot of the stuff that I was hoping to be able to do for a while yet because the documentary I'm working on on the observation of Dungeons and Dragons is going to take a lot of my time and attention. So hopefully these will be short, sweet, to the point, and able to meet various needs of Lampe Creative. I am here to talk about Instagram. Now, I've had problems with technology in general pretty much my entire life, but I thought that it might be interesting to point out some of the things that I was dealing with with Instagram here today. Having tried to bring the Lampe Creative project back, I need to have exposure on social media as widely as possible, which would of course include Instagram. Now, the problem with that is I can't access my Instagram account or an Instagram account at all. Instagram originally started as an app for Apple OS. Subsequently, it wound up spreading, of course, to Android, and then eventually they developed the website. Since its inception, it has been uh, purchased by Facebook. This was in uh, 2011, I think. Um, and in the time since, it has been uh, modified for Facebook's various purposes. It has been altered for the purposes of monetization, and uh, Theory Plebe just did an excellent video on this um, and why this kind of thing is important and what we as people who rely on it need to know about it, about how um, that works within the modern economic system. A lot of what it used to be has changed or been dismantled um, over the past seven years or so. In my story in particular, I lost access to my account uh, quite some time ago, and I can't get it back because some asshole in Azerbaijan changed the language to Arabic. And so now, I, I can't even figure out how I'm supposed to deal with that. And the downsizing of Instagram by Facebook to the point that there's nobody there who could help me to deal with this situation means that basically my Instagram account is lost. So I tried to make a new one specifically for Lampe Creative and I ran into a series of hurdles, one of which I can show you here. Now, it's peculiar to me that this Facebook conversation happened after I shared it and complained. The people who saw it, many of whom I know are on Instagram, as well as Facebook, even though they're basically the same thing and will probably be one program before too much longer, they didn't see a problem with this image. Now, I invite you to look carefully at this. There are various modes here that presumably you would be able to use. The or on this image would indicate that, but there's nothing beneath the or. None of these work. None of these are a thing. There's nowhere here to click to put in your email address or your phone number in order to verify your identity or to start your account without using a Facebook account. These buttons exist. They don't do anything. This has been, this has proven to be true on numerous devices with numerous means of access and using numerous different web browsers with numerous settings. So why are people acting like there's no problem? And I'm going to go back here to social construction of reality to explain they can't know that there is a problem because they continue to use Instagram. So if they look at something and it doesn't look right, that requires a level of intellectual engagement that they are not in a position to initiate. So when they look at this screen, they see join Instagram. This activates engrams. Basically, they remember getting into Instagram themselves. And when they got into Instagram themselves, in many cases, years ago, in some cases before the purchasing of Instagram by Facebook, they didn't have a problem. And so this scene cannot indicate a problem, even though looking at it for 10 seconds there should clearly be an issue with the fact that visually you can see something isn't working properly. So literally everybody I know is just stupid, apparently. Uh, it's probably not a sensible conclusion to come to. But instead of trying to go down that road, which is, uh, to be fair, where I spend most of my time, I'm going to look at Instagram in terms of the postmodern now. 
In the world of the Instagram user, Instagram is already something which is functional, and despite the fact that its various functions have been discombobulated over time, and that there have been major issues, especially recently, with the way that it works, it is a part of the lives of the individuals who are using it. Now, I'm going to get much more into that when I start talking about the way that we're using social media technology today. But the situation with Instagram is that people who are taking for granted that Instagram is a normal part of their routine can't adjust to the state that Instagram is currently in. This creates a kind of delusion of function, a delusion of function on a social level where people are relying upon a systemically dysfunctional constant as though that constant were functional as they remember it. The sign and the tape are covered with a layer of dust which indicates that the elevator has been non-functional for a significant amount of time which suggests either a remarkable passivity among the ISU 36 residents of this building or a shared delusion of functionality. The real world implications of the people they know not being able to access Instagram are irrelevant to their worldview. Their worldview is through the screen on their phone into the world of Instagram. That is real. The people that they know who can't access it are not. They are artifacts of a bygone world, a world where people had personal connections rather than digital ones. But in the world of digital connections, I do not exist, at least not for people who primarily rely on Instagram. There is a group of artists, Boise Creative Commune, who rely almost exclusively on Instagram. So for the people who are in their circles, which would be natural allies of the Lampe Creative Company, I have no way of showing them the work that I've done. They have no way of accessing my discussions about culture, about the social construction of reality, the realms of creativity, art, examination, what the artists that work with me are up to, and I don't know what the artists that work with them are up to, and we are divided, even though we're in the same society, because the tools that we use to communicate within that society are not connecting the individuals. The individuals are connected to the system, and the system is broken. If a person can't rely on these systems and they can't communicate with one another, then what are we supposed to do? Now, Theory Plebe also recently did a piece on the attention economy and about the way that people are able to integrate socially or unable to integrate socially because of reliance on things like social media. Um, and you should watch that. Even the language that's used by people over social media is a language that is not intersocial. It is a language that ties individuals to the system. And then the individuals respond to that language in the system. That's what memes are. Internet memes are a way that people can put something into the atmosphere that others draw out of the atmosphere without any correlation or interaction between the individuals doing it. This postmodern social media has its own postmodern language, which communicates nothing. Um, but allows for social identifiers to be accessed and internalized by strangers, while people who are trying to find ways of working together cannot be facilitated. So when you look over social media, you can see that plain English doesn't work because if your post is too long, no one will read it. In a lot of ways, Twitter is as successful as it is because compared to walls of text, Facebook, and blogs, it is a quick and simple way for people to communicate with one another as long as they have nothing important or time consuming to say. If you were to try to explain to somebody what was happening under any circumstances, it would be impossible to do so. Instead, you must share a meme so that they can identify with the situation should it be germane enough for them to be able to collect it. But you don't even necessarily get to decide who sees the meme that you share. So you have to make sure that the society with which you are connecting has the sort of people in it that you want to connect to. But you can't communicate with them necessarily. You can't tell somebody what you need to tell them. You can't ask any questions because nobody would bother to read them, let alone answer. We are estranging ourselves deliberately through technology in order to simultaneously simplify and complicate our lives. The 
deliberate attempts to escape from these complications require taking on complications which we simply ignore. For example, relying on Instagram when it doesn't work.